what's up everybody um i just wanted to talk about something today because it's it's come kind of really apparent to me the way the community works and also the way mihoyo works which kind of pisses me off i don't like it but i want amber to have a buff i want amber to have a buff tectone said it nobody else has really said it other than really him i've seen and I think someone needs to ask for this because I think she needs a buff. Maybe I'm wrong. And I don't get me wrong. I've seen Amber do packed out damage. I've seen Amber's hit 50k weak point shot. Great and all. But in terms of being a support DPS, which she's basically meant to do, she falls behind heavily compared to people like Compared to people like Shang Ling, whose Gooba just hits for a good amount of damage, just so good, honestly. And you can and you could say, yeah, well, your Go well, Gooba is level six for me. Well, level nine because I got constellations on her. But like, there's no re there's so many reasons why Amber is bad. It's not just one reason. First of all, Baron Bunny. Baron Bunny takes a while to start up compared to I would say like Mona and um Danyu's taunt. That's also a thing. Second, Baron Bunny gets knocked away so easily. So easily. He gets knocked away so easily. And then it's just, boom, it explodes. It doesn't hit nobody. It's useless. You might say, oh, well, it's just meant to taunt people. I disagree. Look at that. Level 3, 142 explosion damage. And someone also pointed out that it doesn't apply pyro. Why? Why does that? Why? Why? And then it's 15 seconds. And, and it's just not, it's just not that though. It's just not that though. And then, and the thing about it is you look at these numbers and you think, oh, well that's good. But in concept, it's not good. It's not, it's really not. Like in, in, in like just concept, it's not that good. It barely does anything, and it's just like, and then people, and then people say like, oh, well, if you have constellations on her, she's really good. Amber's never been on a raid up, so how are you gonna get constellations for Amber, unless you're a whale summoning on standard? And if you're free to play, summoning on standard is a death wish. It's a literal death wish, basically. Like, you can summon on standard if you want to do that, but I say summoning on standard is stupid. This constellation, constellation 2, should already be built in her kit. Flat out. Tectone said it. Constellation 6 should be built into her kit. Straight up. Straight up. That would make Amber such a viable unit. And that's the issue I have is that Amber, and, and it's not just Amber, but it's Lisa as well. Like, yeah, their constellations are really good. And, yeah, of course, I got two because I, you know, I do free, I do my free summons on standard. And, so, and sometimes I get her, which is great and all. But, honestly, the free units should not rely on constellations. And don't get me wrong, they're good at it as they, they can be good. They can be good. Like, Kaya, Perma Freeze Comp is really good. Lisa, she can hit for 30k on three stacks. Great. But it's the small things that make them fall behind. And the only reason you'd use these units is if you aesthetically like them. Like how I have my Amber at 70 because I aesthetically like her over like Bennett. You know what I mean? But if I really wanted, if I was really smart about this, I would build Bennett. No one would build fucking Amber. That's why you see so many people with level 6s Ambers and level like 10 Lisas. Because it's just not worth it. They, these are characters who like, yeah, can be good. But they have so many drawbacks to them compared to other units. What the fuck is the point? Think about it. Lisa's Violet Arc is on like, what, a 15 second cooldown? Where is it? Right here? Yeah. It's on a 16 second cooldown after holding all for max. That is atrocious. That is atrocious. So there's no point of running her. Because guess what? If you, and then at that, it's like, oh, 30k damage? If you run Beto, you can do that every 7 seconds. Every 7 seconds, you can crank out that much damage. On her tie Caller. You can just crank out that much damage on a 7.5 second cooldown. Razor can crank out that much damage within a couple seconds, probably. With his physical attacks. 
official? Within three seconds, she could do that. By the time you're done cranking it up, all these characters, all these other Electro characters can crank out that much damage. Same thing with fucking Amber. The only reason, the only, and that's why you see most people with Amber who do like crazy damage, like 100k damage, are with their, with constellations. And honestly, I don't think that's great. I don't think that's good. The free units shouldn't need constellations to be out like must picks. And that's the thing. I don't want Amber to be broken. I simply want Amber to be viable. Because as it stands right now, it's not really a reason to run Amber over Shang Ling. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just dumb. It's just so, I just don't like it. I don't like how, basically, oh, just because they're a free unit, they don't need buff. Like, I remember, I, like, I posted it on Reddit, why Amber needs a buff and my thoughts on it. I got downvoted. <laughs> I got downvoted. And it doesn't make sense why people like, oh yeah, Zhongli needs a buff. Zhongli needs a buff. Blah blah blah. And I'm not gonna say or say Zhongli didn't or did not need a buff. I don't even want to get into that territory. But one thing I'm going to say is, if we're gonna complain about Zhongli underperforming, we need to complain about a lot of other units underperforming, like the free units. We have to. It's only fair. You know what I mean? It's like, and don't get me wrong, I could build my Amber, right, and make her really fucking good. Right, you can build characters and make them good, but the issue is the free units should be viable in certain situations. They should like you should be like you should have this thought in your mind like, oh should I choose uh should I choose Bennett or Amber? It shouldn't just be, oh well I aesthetically like Amber, so I'm gonna choose Amber over that. Every unit should have like some kind of reason to pick them. Official, she's a turret. Noelle, she cranks out crazy amount of damage. She's a good DPS. Fucking Diona, why would you choose Diona over like a Barbara? Well, she applies cryo for melt comps, and she cleanses. Oh, oh, why would you choose Sing Cho? Because his fucking abilities are so good. Think about it. Every other unit has a reason why you might pick them. A somewhat reason. Why would you pick Beto over like Razor? Because Beto has a counter which can counter attacks. And her and her Stormbreaker is really good at chaining lightning. Electro charge with child. You can't do that with you can't do that with Razor. You see what I'm saying? It's like every other unit someone has a reason why you should kind of run them. Like Amber, Lisa. And I would say kind of Kaya, but Kaya is a really good deep physical DPS, so it's like, eh. But it's like, Amber, why even run her? Other than it stacks. Tell me a reason. If someone could tell me a reason, I would love to know. And I will get, and I will respect you, for, respect you for that. But it's like, as it stands now, Amber and Lisa... And the starter units are just underplayed. And people might say, well, it wouldn't make sense for them to do that. doesn't make sense. Yeah, you're right. It, maybe it wouldn't make sense. Maybe I am. Maybe you're right. Maybe it wouldn't make sense business-wise. But fuck business-wise. This would just be a good thing to do for free-to-play for free, for free -to -play people. People talk about it all the time. Well, for free-to-play, for the free-to-play. Oh, free-to-play is so good. But people don't want to talk about, oh, how these characters are underplaying. People want to talk about Jean Lee, how he was underperforming, but in terms of Amber, oh, because she's free, it doesn't matter. I hate that logic. That's dumb logic to me. That's all I got to say on the matter. I'm not. I'm done ranting. I'm just pissed off because I think the committee. I I don't think the committee has their priorities straight. Honestly, I don't think it. People want nurse for Ganyu. People want bus for Jean Lee. Want to make characters broken, and yet. Nobody wants to just simply buff free to play units for free to play. It's just morally correct. Like, I don't know. And it's not even like I'm asking for broken buffs either. I'm simply asking for a simple buff like her Constellation 2 being built into her kit or her or Baron Bunny not being pushed back as much as Baron Bunny does. Baron Bunny, like, if you see someone, like, an uh, enemy hit Baron Bunny, Baron Bunny will go flying across the field. Onus Taunt doesn't do that. Neither does Gan Yu's. They stay in place. Baron Bunny gets flung across the map. Then you won't get energy parts of her. So, therefore, now, now she has an energy problem, too. 
Like her ult is 40 energy, but yet I've constantly found myself never having Amber's ult in time. Never having Amber, like it takes me way longer to get Amber's ult. Even though Baron Bunny generates like what, four particles? I'm just saying, man, Amber needs a buff. And I don't think there's any issue with wanting an Amber buff. I don't understand why people are against it. Some people are saying, oh, well, her constellations make her really good. Oh, well, Amber can hit 50k to 200k on her Baron Bunny. But people don't realize that's a constellation. And it's hard enough to get constellations for Amber. Because she's never been on a raid up. So it's like... How, how much are you going to spend just to get an Amber constellation? Nothing. No one would do that. It's stupid. It's, I just... Oh, my God. I just want starter units to be viable. That's all. I'm done here. Have a nice day. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like it, tell me why. Please. I want to have a conversation about this. And a healthy one at that. Because I think people just don't care. And since people don't care, they think... Oh, it's not worth it. Oh, Amber doesn't need a buff. Because I don't like Amber. That's dumb. That's dumb to me. Whatever. Whatever. See ya.